Hello everybody, this is Strange Gamer back to kick off Group E's Round 2 matches. And in these matches we will see Dark Ash Star going up against Team North America. Lanzu against Aladar. And Primal Cartman going up against Nano Hunter. Right, let's get on with the first matchup. Alright then, and in the red corner for Dark Ash Star we have Alberta Ceratops. Yes, seems to be quite popular with some people for some reason, but I don't, I don't really know why. Uh, beware of that Thunder Driver, could do a lot of damage. Anyway, in the red, in the blue corner for Team North America, we have a Lightning Dinosaur 2, the Iniosaurus. The Can Opener Lizard, with a solid move set, well, solid because I picked it, so I know it's solid. <laughs> uh, the Lightning Axe could, is that Lightning Axe or Counterplex? I forgot. Oh, no, it doesn't matter, you'll see what it is. <coughs> I should really have a list of all the movesets next to me so I can see them. But I can keep an OBS open to make sure that I'm actually recording. Anyway, the Alberta Swords, Alberta Ceratops starting off strong with a hit. I mean, not too much damage dealt. The Thunder Driver getting triggered there. And the Thunder Driver be activated! The Alberta Ceratops on top early on, showing no mercy to the Swords. It's like a blender. Oh, he almost took him out. Nice. Well, not nice for Team North America, but nice for Dark Ash Star. Oh, that's a tie. The Alberta Ceratops finally damaged. But not beaten because the Albert, the Inosaurus is going down. And Team North America is reduced to their second dinosaur. That dinosaur being the Ankylosaurus. This Ankylosaurus will have the type advantage over Alberta Ceratops, so that could be key, key for Team North America to pull this match back. And that rock roller could be powerful. Wow, I'm kind of sorry, it's huge next to this guy. Oh, 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 so I go open OBS. Hang on, hang on. There. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, oh my god, another Thunder Driver. Dark Ash Star completely in control of this match so far. They are burnt the Ceratops, holding nothing back. Well, I've never seen it on like an Ankylosaur. Although, not much damage dealt and the Crystal Crusher did get triggered. I mean, will Team North America actually get a hit this match? The answer to that is probably not. Like, come on, this is ridiculous. Like, come on. Oh, finally Team North America get a hit. And it is a crit from the Ankylosaurus. And of course, Counter Blitz gets triggered. Which means no hits from Team North America next round. Oh, we're actually going to see Counter Blitz for once. Yes, despite despite the Ankylosaurus winning that exchange, the Counter Blitz does activate and will deal a little bit of damage to Ankylosaurus, but it will trigger Crystal Crusher. Which indeed will be activated. That means the Alberta Ceratops' defensive power will be lower. I mean, it doesn't really matter at this point because it's already already dead. Oh, well, it doesn't matter because our Bert the Ceratops is going to take a two-nil lead, and Dark Ash Star is in complete control of this match as Team North America are reduced to their final dinosaur. That dinosaur is being Brontokins. Yes, the ace in the hole here for Team North America. And Brontokins turn this match around. Well, he's gonna have to pull his weight here, Brontokins, because Alberta Ceratops is still alive and kicking, and if it does get a head off, it will do a decent amount of damage because it has the type advantage. And of course, Alberta Ceratops is gonna get off another hit. Uh, not too much damage done. Okay, that's a tie. 
The Alberta Ceratops is still alive. Oh, come on, game. Oh dear, wow. We could. Oh, wait, wait. Is, is Dark Ash not gonna get two bonus points? No. <laughs> the Brontekin striking back against Alberta Ceratops and finally taking it out. Defense boost act. Well, defense burst, I should say. Activating it. Up next for Dark Ash Star, and probably the dino that will win it for Dark Ash Star, we have Super Paris. Await the mode on five. Was it five? Yeah. And an interesting move set here. He's gone with Move Black, which could be could be useful. And well, we saw how useful it was in the last match as well. Can Paris finish off Brontekins and guarantee a bonus point win for Dark Ash Star? Or can Brontekins turn this match on its head? Ooh, Brontekins getting off another head. Ever so lightly, that bar is filling up. Ooh. Dark Ashtar might be in trouble here because if Brontekins gets a hit that kills Paris, Brontekins will have spectral armor on Dark Ashtar's final dino. Ooh, an ocean? Oh, oh, it's not. It's Green Impulse, and that will secure a bonus point victory for Dark Ashtar. I like how I instantly assumed there was ocean panic. Oh my god, I've never seen that before! Wow, the green in there, it didn't actually take any health. Wow, I've never seen that before. I think it might be like the Venom Poison, like it, it'll drop you down to a certain amount of health and then... Okay, it doesn't matter in the end, because Paris was going to win. And that's a bonus point win for Dark Ash stuff. Um, honestly, I didn't know how to play that green impulse. Did I, do I let Paris get the hit to kill it, or do I... Leave it at that. I think I'll leave I'll leave it at that with Green Impulse, because I think it's a move like um Venom Fang, where Venom Fang will deal the poison damage, but the poison damage won't actually kill the dinosaur, so I'll treat it like Venom Fang, so it doesn't it didn't matter in the end, because Dark Ashtar won, he got a bonus point win, which I think he deserved. And we'll move on to our next match. Alrighty then, and in the red corner for Lanzu, we have, a, well, Lanzusaurus, of course. Lanzu starting off the tournament with a defeat to Primal Cartman. But, ca but can he get back to winning ways? Well, can he... Can he win this time? Well, it, it shouldn't be too tough, because in the blue corner, for Aladar, we have a Decentralis. This Decentralis will be at a tight disadvantage against Lanzu's first two dinosaurs. So, like, honestly, I, I would just give Aladar the win. If he goes 2-0 up, I would give Aladar the win instantly. Good chance for Aladar here. A win here will close the gap on Dark Ash Star and will, well, we'll put him level with Dark Ash Star. A bonus point win and you'll go above him. Yeah, you can see see why I think that Aladar will not be going 2-0 up. Uh, again, you can give him as many hits as you want. All Aladar needs is like one hit and your Desantero is basically dead. I mean, the RNG is trying just trying to prove me wrong, it's just messing with me. But it is a good start from Aladar and a needed good start. Yep, this is a one. But look look at the infinitesimal damage. This will probably be paper. Oh it's not, it's rock. And Lanzasaurus finally striking back. Ooh, no crit for Lanzasaurus though. Ooh, Lanzasaurus finally getting a hit. And I think, yep, this is a big foot assault. And this will do a lot of damage to Desantorus. So it was a valiant effort from Desantorus, to be honest. I will give it that, but... 
Look at that. Crystal Crusher getting triggered though, so that will put Aladdin in a pretty strong position to kill Lanzusaurus. Ooh, not curtains yet. And honestly, Lanzusaurus can probably tank another hit. Unless that hits from a crypt. Well, despite all of DeSantorous' effort, despite all its hard work, all it takes is one super impact from Lanzusaurus and it's dead. And that gives Lanzu a 1 0 lead, unsurprisingly. Although the surprise is that the Sandrorus' HP did get Lanzusaurus' HP in the red. Well, here comes the MVP of Team Aladar, the Super Opitha Sela Claudia. And this beast is basically the reason why I kind of want the new changed shockwave. <laughs> Because it literally got it off every single time. Like you can this, you compare to the last video, the video where Toka was playing and had super, had Omega Eocarcaria, which basically has 100 less technique than this thing, and this thing got shockwave off every time. And Eocarcaria didn't get any volcano burst or flare in two matches. Anyway, up next for Lanzu, we have an Edmontosaurus. Well, it's going to be tough for, La for Lanzu here because the Super Opis of Sega Claudia seems to get Shockwave off every time. Okay, Awaken Mode on free. But, Aladar definitely did well with the Desantra Rurus, so it is an even match. That's a hit from the Cecilia Claudia, but no shockwave, which is a huge surprise. Oh, that's a time. And that's another tie, and here comes Ocean Park. And this will put Aladar in the driving seat, as one of Edmontosaurus's moves will be nullified. Oh, it's not! Wow, it's a huge surprise! Ooh, and the Edmontosaurus getting off a hit! Dealing a lot of damage. No, I missed the Awaken Mode! Oh, I didn't even know what hit sign I clicked. I think I clicked scissors. Oh, poop. Um. Um. Okay, we'll give Aladar a free hit, and we'll do, and we won't do a wake mode because it was supposed to happen last. I, I am so sorry. Okay, anyway, his next Dino is Super Titanosaurus. Okay, yeah, we'll give Aladar a free hit because it's that's only fair because I messed up. I, I literally tapped all three keys and it didn't work. Okay, so we'll give Aladar a free hit. It's only fair. And we'll give it. We'll make it a rock. Right, that, I, I am so sorry. Okay, we're still even season, so hopefully it shouldn't affect the outcome of the match. Anyway, as for Aladar's third dino, we didn't see it last time. We have the Omega Armor Eocarcaria. And with the Goma moveset, of course, because that's the only moveset you can use on this thing. Okay, let's try and not mess up the Awaken Mode this time. Okay, so Awaken Mode on three. Oof, glitch there. Okay, that's a tie. That was Suki Okarkiria more than Titanosaurus. But a hit will suit Titanosaurus more, as it will have the type advantage. Okay, that's one. Oh, that's another tie. I think heat eruption's coming. Yes, it is. You know, look how quickly he gets Heat Eruption off and you compare it to how many ties Toka got with Eo Criteria and how many times did he get Heat Eruption off? Zero. Mm, not too much damage but there's a Volcano Burst making up for it. Okay, I'll see twice. Uh, this has been a good match other than my m m mistake. This has been a very good match. Ooh, has Lanchi just stolen this match's momentum as his elemental putin time? 
Well, the only thing that will save Aladorn now is if he wins this exchange. Which he doesn't, and the tie will take out Eokarkiria. But it's not all doom and gloom for Aladar, as he will get a losing bonus point. Uh, well, this... Oh, uh, yeah, I, I don't think that... I don't think my mistake would have affected the match. I think Lanzu was going to win anyway. Like, that tie, and then another tie, and then... I think Lanzu was going to win anyway. So I don't think my mistake affected the match that much. So yeah, I say well played to Lanzu. All right, as for our third matchup in this vid in this video, we see Primal Cartman going up against Nano Hunt. And at first for Primal Cartman, we have a Spinosaurus. I um, didn't do too much in the first match. I mean, it was a pretty good comeback from Cartman. I mean, her third Dino did most of the work. Anyway, in the blue corner for Nano Hunter, we have Simo Tyrannus. The Simo Tyrannus doesn't have any fire moves, so the Spino will not have the tight advantage here. So, not having fire moves has paid off in this matchup, but we'll just have to see if it actually does pay off. I mean, it won't be at a disadvantage, so it's paid off for that matter, but can it take advantage of that and kill the Spino? That's, that's what really matters. That's a good start from Samu Tyrannus. An alpha dice off the bat. Now what will the dice say? A four. That's not too bad. And a defense boost as well, which could come in handy. Oh, another alpha dice. A strong start from Samu Tyrannus. But a three this time, so not as much damage as before. Nano Hunter opened their campaign with a defeat while Cartman en enjoyed a nice win. Ooh, Cartman finally striking back with an Aqua Whip. Wow, not, not a lot of damage out there. That's probably the defense boost as well. But if it was the type advantage, it would probably be about by here, maybe. Samo Tyrannoso getting off ahead, and that light recovery will be coming as well. A strong star from Nano Hunter so far, and Cartman is something to be desired. Oh, that's a tie. That will definitely suit Samo Tyrannus more because it is charge type, which means it will do more damage in a tie. And the Samo Tyrannus has killed the Spinosaurus. And not having fire moves has definitely paid off. Anyway, up next for Primal Cartman, we have Eokarkiria. Not armoured, not super, just a generic, normal, stone-cold Eokarkiria. Well, this guy didn't do too much last time for Cartman, as mainly the Krowlophosaurus did all the work. But Cartman is in a little bit of trouble here. Simo Tyrannus is relatively unscathed. Ooh, but the Eocarcaria does get off that blazing spin, which will do some damage. And Simo Tyrannus' HP finally going down. Oh, oh, saying that, a light recovery coming in from the cryo, but no defense boost this time, so that could be a break for Cartman. And only two bombs this time, so not much damage will be dealt. But Nano Hunter still has a sizable lead in this matchup. Ooh, another alpha dice. <laughs> it seems to be MVP for Samu Tyrannus. But only a one, so again, no damage will be dealt. Well, very little damage. Wait, is, is there actually a limit on defense boosts? Because it, it doesn't activate at all. It can't be activated, so... I feel like there might be a limit for defense boosts. Anyway, there's the tie recovery effect from Eokarkiria. 
Ooh, a crit from the Eocarcaria. Could that be what Cartman needed? And a Flay Sword as well. I don't think this will take out Simon But it will do some damage. Yeah, I think Defense Boost is maxed out. There's only so many boosts you can put on it. Oh, that's a tie, and that will finish off Simo Tyrannus. But the Simo Tyrannus definitely did a lot of work there, taking out the Spino and leaving the Eocarcaria with less than half its health. Up next for Nano Hunter, we have Super Ulti Riders. Uh, awaken the Wait, where is it? Nano Hunter, Awaken Mode on 3. A lot of people pick 3. 3 seems to be a good number to pick. Like 3, 2, 3, 4, like 5 is a bit too much and 1's a bit too early. Oh, it's a tie. I think that'll suit the Eocarcaria more because of the tie recovery effect. But Eocarcaria does have a lot less HP than Ulti Rhinus. Ooh, an Emerald Garden coming there. And a Flare Sword from Eocarcaria. Like, this is freaking ridiculous. Like, this Eocarcaria has 400 technique. Like, I don't want to go back to it, but Toka's Eocarcaria have over 1,000 technique, and, and they don't get a bloody Flare Sword. But Cartman gets two. Like, come on. Come on, game. What are you playing at? Ooh. Primal Cartman has turned this match on his head, taking out the Ulti Rhinus. And putting herself in the lead. As Nano Hunter's third dino, the Super Mimus, comes into play. Well, this Super Mimus, I think, will take out Eocarcaria because it will have the type advantage over it. <laughs> I need to finish this match quick. I don't know why, but I just gotta. Anyway, back to the actual match. Cartman in the lead. Despite an impressive start from Nano Hunter, Cartman has turned this match around. And now holds a slight lead. Well, slightly, because it's just gone. And now, Primal Cartman is down to their last dino, and that dino being the Crowl of the Swords. This beast won it for Cartman last time. Can it win it for her this time? Um, not much to say here, just all secret moves, so skip. Tava Cannon has been triggered, but will not be activated yet. Ooh, there's the tie recovery from Cryo there, healing up that damage a bit. Ooh, the Cryo gets the first hit. This has been quite a close match, I mean closer than I expected, because Nano Hunter was well on top early on, but Cartman turned the match around, and now has the lead. Ooh, and does she have lethal over Super Minus? Oh, no, no. But that hit does guarantee that whether Cartman wins or loses, she will get points this match. How many? Well, we'll just have to find out. Ooh. Uh, is that below half? Is that below half? I think that might be below half, so that will also guarantee that Nano Hunter will get points this match. Ooh. Wait, is that Final Fury? A Final Fury? And an excited spaghetti from the Sukumimus has Nano Hunter just snatched this match. Oh my god, that's terrible HP gain. Oh no, that's critical critical block, sorry. Oh, that actually guarantees that Nano Hunter will win this match because Primal Cartman will take damage no matter what. And the Crowlophosaurus cannot take it. But just to add overkill, the Super Mimus will get off a Futaba Cannon. Wow, an impressive, impressive match there. That critical block definitely won it for Nano Hunter there, as Cartman didn't have enough health to survive a tie. But it's not all doom and gloom for Primal Cartman because Super Mimus's HP was below half. She will get a losing bonus point, and you never know how crucial that could be. Right, time to update the table, and we'll end the session. Wow, look how tight Group E looks. You got Dark Ash Star at the top with seven points after two opening wins. Aladar in second with a win and a loss and two bonus points with five points. And then Primal Cartman in third, getting that losing bonus point against 
Nano Hunter 5000 on four points. And then we have Lanzu also on four points. Uh, yeah, this this I also put Cartman above Lanzu because Cartman did win this matchup. So if it does come if it does come to it, I will be I will be finishing positions on the matchups. So that's why Cartman is in third and Lanzu's in fourth. And then we have Nano Hunter in fifth, claiming a crucial I think an important win just to keep just to keep pace with the top four. And then you got Team North America with Zip. Wow, Group E definitely looks open. I mean, I know you could say Dark Ashstar could run away with it, but look how tight it is there. Like, four points separate first and fifth. Very open. Uh, what will the next matchups be like? Four versus five. Ooh. Team North America against Lanzu. Dark Ash Star against Primal Cartman. That could be a good match. And then Aladar. Wait, what? Oh, no. I first said Aladar against Lanzu. I was like, wait, no, you just played. Aladar against Nano Hunter. So it's still all to play for in Group E. So I hope you enjoyed this matchup. And, and this is Stranger Gamer signing out.